there is a new thrift store in town. <laughs> it's called Green Life. Okay, well, today I'm trying something different. There is a new thrift store in town. <laughs> it's called Green Life Thrift Store. It's in Mount Holly Springs, uh, which is not too far from where I live. And my mom has been raving about it. Um, they just opened a few months ago. Um, I've seen lots of their posts on Facebook. And I was driving by today on my way uh, to the Hanover Goodwill. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to stop and I'm gonna see what they have to offer because I've heard really great things. So let's head in and see what we can find to buy and for a profit. But also, I need to find some t-shirts for Laurel because it's getting warmer out and uh, she's outgrown all of her summer clothes from last year. And she's growing like a weed. Um, so I'd rather get her some secondhand clothes that are, that are lightly worn. Um, and go out and buy new clothes that she's just gonna grow out of really fast. So we're gonna head in here and see what the selection is all about. Here we go. All right, this is really cute. And um, this is the old Dollar General. Okay, let's see what we can find. Last I saw on Facebook, they are overflowing with donations um, $3.99 made in China I do like the heart on there I guess maybe that's like a pie plate or something that's a really pretty cake plate oh it's Andrea by Sadik Ooh, I didn't really I thought that was plastic that's why I set it down so hard um, this is Spring Night Fine China. It's only 99 cents. It's labeled as a small toy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'd uh, get that to Laurel to play with. Mine is super pretty though. I don't normally pick up Andrea by Sadek. I find that it doesn't have a very good resale value, so I typically leave it behind. Oh, you know what? I just realized um, that you have all of these displays on top that also have stuff to pick from completely oblivious to that. Look at all these cute little houses. I think I've actually had these canisters before. It was a long time ago. But I do remember having these. Those aren't um, Lennox, are they? I don't think so. I know they have the Lennox Spice Village. I don't think those are. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away and then you guys are gonna be like, those were Lennox! <laughs> Castle ones get me every single time. They want to be glassy babies so bad, and they just, they're not. They're not glassy babies. There's a plate with a bird on it. That's a really pretty bird. Wildlife Federation. And there's a really pretty bolt down here. A nice pinwheel pattern. It's only $1.99. That is what I am talking about. Um, I don't know if this is Imperial glass or not. Uh, but look at the pretty iridescence on that. That's so pretty. One, only $1.99. That's better than, uh, dare I say, better than Goodwill prices. <laughs> I think I'll stick that in there. This is a really cute pattern, and that is obviously the lid to a trinket box. That's probably the same artist. Maybe not. I mean, it looks pretty close. Oh yeah, it has the same marking, but the bottom of that is missing. Bell Collection. It's a staple at every thrift store. Regardless of which thrift store it is, you're going to find a Bell Collection. It's almost a guarantee. Alright, oh, I like this. That's a pretty canister, isn't it? I like the flower on that. Who makes, oh, that's Wheaton. That is a Wheaton canister with a flower on it. I really like that. Wheaton didn't make just bottles. They also made really pretty flower canisters. I wonder if I could take stuff off of this cart. It's just kind of sitting here. It looks like it's ready for the picking. I think Laurel would love this toy. 
This is $1.99. She loves stacking, um, and I think she would really enjoy that. So I'm gonna pick that up for a Laurel. And then I was noticing here, there's a luster vase. I usually pick these up when they're the right price. I'm curious what the price is. Only $1.99. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab that. $1.99. That's the right price. We're gonna take it with us. Let's stick it right in here. All right, and then we're gonna look over here. This looks like all of the cute little collectibles. I like the texture on that. $5.99. There's no design on it though, it's just kind of boring. Look here. There's some kids playing over there with noisy toys. Chimenea, Foldscraft. What is that thing? Ooh, looks like it's reverse painted, but it kind of looks like a circus tent. Huh. It's very confusing. It's painted. Oh, it's made in China. It is 99 cents. It won't focus. It's also small home is what it's labeled as. I like it. It looks like a circus. Right. I think that's it for the hard goods around the edges. The rest are really toys and frames. Now let's go find some clothes for Laurel. These all look a little bit big for baby Laurel. Look way too big. Those look like Juliet size. <laughs> she is a 3T. I think there's, oh, all the baby clothes are in bins. Let's go dig through some bins. Bins of baby clothes. I don't really feel like digging today. Um, 18 months. <laughs> I don't know. I think I might uh, try something else. Because today's not really a digging day. Those are cute. What size are those? Hmm, there's no size on them. All right, I'm gonna walk away from this. <laughs> I'd rather have them all on racks that I could pick from. But today is not a digging day for me. So we're gonna go check the collectibles and see if there's anything up there. But this is a nice little haul and for great prices too. I know this is not a commercial. I'm not being paid to make this video. I just wanted to check out a new thrift store. How cute is that thing? What? I feel like Juliet would rock that. It's $2.99. Owl purse. Did you? Oh, thank you. Okay, and just like that, we're back in the car. That was a fun little thrift store. I never stopped there before. My total spend was $13. I got a cute little toy for Laurel. I got a purse for Juliet. No, I did not get anything for everyone's always like, you never get anything for your son. They don't sell gaming consoles and video games at thrift stores usually. <laughs> they don't sell Roblox. <laughs> but that's why I usually don't get anything for Ashton. Um, but yeah, that was fun. That was cool. Um, only 13 bucks. So I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road. I'm not sure where it's going to take me, but I'm going to bring you guys with me and uh, I'm sure we'll end up somewhere. Fun. So um, I'll see you there. I absolutely love that this Goodwill is no longer playing music. I don't know if the stereo is broke. 
but I like it. <laughs> we are going to start in this aisle today just because it's the first one I picked. So let's see what we can find. It's kind of a pretty shawl planter. Sun beads on that. Couple clowns. Those are mean and Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> That's kind of wild. I do like this. It is a fish vase. Oh, hey, look. There's a Boston's dog. These seem to always be chipped, though. Always chipped. What is that? Alarm. Ooh. Yellow, it's the color of the week. 50% off Wednesday or Monday. I never pay much attention to the colors because it seems every time I'm like the last person <laughs> to pick the color. This is a really cool lamp. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this lamp. I'm like half talking to you guys and half distracted by this amazing lamp. I don't know what's happening up here. I feel like the shade is too much. What is, what is happening? This is like... Oh, the price was... No, the price is on here. Somebody did that lamp dirty by putting that shade on there. I can't tell what's going on here. I do really like it, but this whole thing happening here is not a good thing. <laughs> this whole thing is not a good thing. I'm going to put this back. <laughs> We're gonna leave that. <laughs> I don't know if I should put that shade back on. I feel like it's just gonna fall apart. Maybe that's for uh, hummingbirds. That's, that is a magnet. With wiggly feet. Bahamas. I feel like he should just hang out there. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Um, Alright, I'm not seeing much on these shelves. beach decor. No signatures on it though. You know, I might stick that in here. These are always fun. $4.99. First edition Webco made in Germany. $4.99. I might have to look that up. A lot of the times I see these, they have the long noses on them. So maybe I'll look that up. Matt Brewing Company, Utica, huh, let's see if there's any value in that before we dismiss it, there's a little, oh, look at these little guys, as long as those aren't broken, that one seems good, we don't see any breaks on that, Maybe some, uh, there's a chip right there. Okay. 
There's a crack. I think I'll leave them behind. All right, that's really cute. That little tiger. Oh, I guess it's a lion. Chalkware, though. I don't have the best of luck with chalkware. There's a paperweight. And Bab's cuffing on that. Hmm. We're not really finding much today. Six ninety nine. <laughs> Maybe I should get that for my sister for Mother's Day. Vault pocket made in Japan. Shame that's got so much chipping on it. Mm -hmm. Handmade Irish cottages. There's the, there's the other bookend. <laughs> I guess they got split up. We should probably reunite them, right? I feel like that's the right thing to do. is we're going to get it. <laughs> Bone china napkin rings. Unfortunately they are broken. I've noticed that there are a few otters scattered about so somebody must have donated their otter collection. I came back just to do this. Make sure that they were reunited completely. Here's some home co. Happy dogs. I love you this much. Feels empty though. Oh my goodness, I was just getting ready to go and look at the kids' clothes to find some stuff for Laurel and I noticed this silly thing right here. I think we need to acknowledge how cute this is. And what a good job MG did. This is a hobbyist piece. This is maybe the best hobbyist piece I've ever seen. Ever. <laughs> the only thing missing is the hat. The hat is missing. And I wish so bad that it was here. Because I would have scooped this up in a heartbeat. But it's missing its little little Santa hat. And it really needs it. It's not complete without it. So I have to leave it. Alright, shirts for Laurel. She's in 3T right now, which is kind of crazy because she's still just a little baby. But oh she loves dinosaurs. She loves dinosaurs. I think I told you guys her her favorite movie right now is no longer oh, Frozen. It's cart? Monsters. <laughs> Monsters Inc. Now, what were you asking? So I feel like she needs this because dinosaurs are kind of like monsters. That's a sweet little outfit. What size is it? 
that is three years. That would fit Laurel for $4.25. She could go bebopping in the backyard, playing on the bouncy house. Okay, I loaded up <laughs> that stuff for Laurel. Fantastic. Um, and now we're just gonna go back and see if anything was restocked. If it's not, I'm gonna take off. All right. Webco Matte Brewing Company of Germany. Here are the long-nosed ones that I was talking about. You have a few that sell for really good money. I could not find the one in my cart. Um, but I figured they were at least worth looking up. Um, you can see some have pretty decent value. I may try doing a Google image search of the one that I have in my cart. Here's a um, officer. <laughs> officer Suds. <laughs> so mine apparently is a Marine. I did a Google image search. Um, this one is out of stock, but they had been asking $190 for it. I don't know if it's out of stock because it's sold or if it's out of stock because they unlisted it. And both of those are plausible um, but for $4.99 given that result I'm probably just going to hold on to it uh, at $4.99 even if it sells for 10 bucks I'm doubling my money so we're gonna give that one a shot uh, and see what happens it costs a laurel it's kind of cute baby collection Laminated placemats. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Those are kind of fun. Oh, what's this? That's so colorful. I kind of really like this. And it's got a little hanger hoop at the top. That is my jam. We'll grab that. And that's got lots of color. All right. Well, on that note, I think I'm gonna get out of here right after I look at this. Oh, what in the world is that? That's odd. It's like a ring. <laughs> it's a ringy thing. Not. What in the world? That is a cabbage. All right. So we found a few things. We found a couple things um, to flip. Um, I think two, maybe three things. <laughs> so, um, our total spend was $73. I feel like the majority of that was clothes that I bought for the kids. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I ended up buying three shirts for Ashton, a bunch of outfits for Laurel. Um, Juliet just went clothes shopping, so she really didn't need anything. Um, but yeah, sometimes days are like that. I feel like we found a little bit more at the first thrift store um, than the Goodwill. Um, but we just didn't get it at the right time. It's all about timing. Um, but on that note, I'm going to call it quits on this video. And uh, like I say, we'll see all of you tomorrow. Um, but before, before I end this video, I want to invite all of you guys to check out my new marketplace on District. I did start a handmade marketplace. In addition to knickknacks, it's called Knickknacks Handmade. Um, and it is all handmade, all handmade things. Um, so it's not your usual glass and pottery that is mass-produced, vintage, that sort of thing. Um, it is all handmade knickknacks. <laughs> and um, you can find it down in the description of my YouTube videos. Or you can type right in the, white, uh, right in the web browser, knickknacksmade.net. Um, and you can go find it that way. So I invite all of you to join um, to check out what some of our artists have to offer. And um, I guess I will see you tomorrow. It's fine.